Bitrix 24 tutorial for beginners, project management, CRM, and much more. Hello everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can get started with Bitrix 24. Bitrix 24 is an online solution for all of your business issues. May it be collaboration, CRM, tasks and projects, HR and automation, and any other functionality of your business. You can easily find your solutions on Bitrix 24. They have multiple different products such as their CRM tool, their tasks and projects, as well as their sites and stores, Copilot, HR automation, and more. So to get started with Bitrix, simply click on start for free on the top right. Once you go into start for free, you are going to enter your email address and verify that you are not a robot. You can also proceed with your social account to register. So I am going to proceed with my Google account to complete my registration. Once I click on continue over here, I can just confirm the terms of service. And after that, click on register for free. Now in a couple of seconds, your account on Bitrix24 will now be created. So just like that, you can click on go to Bitrix24 to access your Bitrix panel. Now, once we go on ahead and access our Bitrix panel, we can get started with setting up our panel with our team members, contacts, and much more. So let's go into our panel over here. And now our Bitrix 24 account has been created. Now, firstly, we will add a background and over here, you will see a panel on the left. Currently, Bitrix is still loading up completely. So we're going to wait for this to completely load up so our UI and interface is actually accessible. We're just going to wait for the complete app to be set up. So now that our Bitrix24 dashboard has loaded up, we can get started with accessing its different features. Now on the left, you will find a panel which will allow you to access different segments. So over here, you have calendars, tasks, as well as contacts, to-do lists, everything that you can build. You can also set up different types of milestones and goals on Bitrix24. Now, usually for project management and CRM, the first thing I like to do is I like to go into this icon over here, which is called workgroups on the left. Click on workgroups over here, and then you can get started with a new workgroup. Click on create over here to create your new work group. Once you do that, you can choose what you want to create, whether it is going to be a project or a work group. So let's say that I want to create a new project. And then after that, I will click on next and then I will input a name for my project. So let's say this is going to be my Lily Studio launch. And then after that, I can choose a visual theme that I want to do and that I want to use. And you can choose distinctive colors or backgrounds to make it easier for you to differentiate between one and the other project or one and the other work team. So click on save over here and then choose a icon for your project. So let's say this is going to be this icon. Then after that, click on next on the bottom. Now, once you do that, you can choose your privacy for your team. Now, you can choose either to make a team public where any employee can join and view team details. Then you can also make it private where it's only accessible via an invitation, but people still would be able to know that there is a private team. Or you can also make it hidden. So team membership is going to be via invitation, but it will also not show up as a list or visible anywhere to people that are not part of the team. So choose your team preference and then click on next. After that, you can add your team members. This includes your project owners, project moderators, as well as team members. Once completed, you can click on next over here to get started with setting up your project. Now for any project, you have a simple feed section, then you have a calendar section, and then a drive and more section. Now under your feed, you are going to find a section for tasks. And 
If you click on tasks on the left, you will be able to create tasks. You can actually filter out different tasks based on their category or based on when they were created, when they were assigned, what level of the project they are on. To set up my tasks, I like to go into tasks and then I like to go into Kanban over here. Once you go into Kanban over here, it makes it easier to visually encompass all of your information. So just click on quick task over here and type in your task. So let's say our first task is to find add ideas and I can just enter that task. Now, if you click on your task, this will pop up more details about your task and you can add more additional information such as the checklist, as well as what group it is in, as well as the priority, who is going to be assigned to this particular task, who is going to be a participant, as well as a observer. You can also categorize tasks with different tags. This is helpful in ensuring that your relevant teams are able to stay updated on their tasks. So if something is related to my marketing team, I can add the tag of marketing, or if something is related to HR, I can take a look and just tag HR. Then when I'm trying to find something related to marketing goals or tasks, I can just filter them out via the tag. You also have history as well as the time elapsed since the task has been started. So you can click on add over here and then you can enter the time that has been spent and also add comments. And then you can also choose to star a certain task in case it has higher priority. Now, once a task becomes in progress, you can move it towards the next section and then you can move it towards completed. This is in the Kanban view and you can also view your same tasks in a list view. You can also go into the deadline view over here. This allows you to manage your tasks via a deadline and have agile project management, which will ensure that everything gets done on time and nothing is ever going to be overscheduled. And if there are any tasks that are overdue, they would get scheduled into the next week. You can also go into the planner view to plan out your tasks. So you can click on not planned and to be done this week and then move towards the calendar to view a more broad view of your project. Then click on Gantt to see a timeline view where you're going to be able to assess every task that is present within a particular date. Now, once you have completed setting up your first project, you can get started with some of the other features of Bitrix 24. This includes things such as CRM, and you can access that by simply clicking on CRM on the left panel over here. Now, once you click on CRM, this will allow you to set up people, documents, and much more. You will see their CRM is set up by default with different deals, papers, and different invoices. So you can proceed with their onboarding and just skip ahead with their basic onboarding. Now in their CRM features, they have a simple section for deals, then inventory, customers, sales, analytics, and different add-ons that you can include. You can access each of these by simply doing a click and adding customers is pretty much the same as adding your team members. Simply go into CRM, customers, and then go on ahead and choose the type of customer you have. Then you can go on ahead and add the customer. This could either be a business that is purchasing wholesale or an individual customer. That just depends on the type of business you have. And in this way, you can get started with Bitrix 24. I hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to get started. If you did find this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or queries, leave those in the comment box down below. I would love to know what you guys have to say.